Officers now only attend jobs with backup. Three cars investigated this attempted armed robbery at Aspley this morning. It wasn't the work of Nigel Parodi, but the 32-year-old was never far from police mines with his photographs stuck on the dashboards of most vehicles. We're coming up to four days now, and um, if he's hiding in the bush or, or whatever, or in the drains, as has been suggested, obviously he's going to be very tired and hungry and, uh, and wet, and uh, our understanding is that he may not have any money with him. Suggesting Parodi is ready to surface, possibly like he did yesterday when a noise at the rear of his father's house in Hanbury Street sparked a state of emergency. Flowers have replaced firearms in the cul-de-sac where locals are trying as much as possible to lead normal lives. It's one of these things that have got to happen. I mean, the chap's got to be caught and uh, the police, you know, we, we think the police have done an excellent job. They, they've been very courteous, they've let us in and out. No letting in students at three nearby schools. Classrooms are expected to reopen tomorrow after a two-day enforced closure. We weren't prepared to put 1,700 students at risk and through that particular trauma again. The Prince Charles says it too must be vigilant to safeguard its patients and staff. Security patrols have been stepped up in and around the hospital. Taxi drivers are being cautious too, with reports Parodi likes to hitchhike. Just not picking up the hails on the side of the road if they look slightly uh, anything like the gunman. A gunman who may have access to an arsenal. We don't know what cache of um, weapons he may have had, but th that has been suggested that he may have had some hidden or buried in other places. Some good news, though, for police this afternoon with one of Parodi's victims, Sergeant Chris Mulhall, being released from hospital. Neil Dawley, National 9 News.